Happy Friday, everybody. I am doing another old New York Times crossword, which is what I do on Fridays. Uh, this one comes from 1958, and I try to do anniversaries here, so this is September 15th. Uh, the author is Marsha Gladstone, and as always, Margaret Farrar is the editor. Um, yeah, I'll just dive in right here. Um, Roundup hands. Um, like cowboys or something. Completely absorbed. Like wrapped. Hackneyed would be um, not sure. General is Omar Bradley. Oh, and trite would be hackneyed. The word was on the tip of my tongue. Couldn't think of it. Elfin being. Ends with an I. Interesting. Um, namesakes of a fielding heroine. Sunshade. Makes joyful, elates maybe. Up, risen. Is rovers roundup hands? Sao Paulo, okay. Amelia's? And parasol, okay. Elfin being. Ropers. Yeah, Rhonda Pants are ropers, but Perry, don't know. All right, got through that northwest corner. Uh, sleight of hand. I guess. So this is a Monday. Uh, I've said in the past that it doesn't seem like there's a difficulty difference between days of the week, but we'll see. Uh, noble. Let's be like Earl. Kitchen gadget, uh, like a pearer, maybe? Corer? Okay, shortly. Operatic prince. Misselman? Not sure. Swiss city on the Rhine. How many Swiss cities can I name? Burn. Not one with an L right there, although Earl could be wrong. Maybe I'll delete that for now. Headdress popular in the 18th century. Bonnet? Did those go out of fashion after that? Branch? Arm? Yeah, I'll say arm here. Okay. Cellular, cellular interaction osmosis? Okay, okay. Knowing? Oh, wise, probably. First letter abbreviation. Adventure. Oh, is this some kind of wig? Adventure. What is first letter abbreviation? Is it Aleph? Is it Alpha? I'm not sure. All right, touches gently. Could be oh, pants, and I think the Philippines uses pesos. Um, letter of the alphabet. Could this be Alpha? Armacist, truce, uh, ELR is probably not correct, although it's Norse. Seminarian. Is this just a student? Hidden, occult. Racing boat. Beautiful, is that Bella? Earl. 
road is a bond, like the Autobahn. Don't know my Edna Ferber novels, unfortunately. Shortly. Oh, Anon. Okay, so that could be Earl. Igor? Is he a prince? Corer? Engineers? Okay, Giant fits as a novel. Car something? Ride? What is first letter then? It. What is this? Uh, Basel's a city, but isn't it EL? Having more. Oh no, it's not right. Okay, so having more sheen has got to be glossier. Car. What is this? Bagwig? Ragwig? Oh, initial maybe? And Carline? What's a stone paving block though? Adventure. Might have some guesses here. Shabby and slang. Well, sickly, maybe ailed. Extract by filtering. Girl's name. Power combining form. Is dynam dynamic? Dynamo, is that power? CSA's confederacy, maybe? Son of Noah. Oof. Oh, leech would be extract by filtering. Shem? Was that one of Noah's sons? Elise? Hard. Steely. Ratty? Is that slang for shabby? Get off. Well, this doesn't really... What is... Cut. Sever? Roman historian is probably Livy. Term of, term of endearment. Love? Florida Cape would be Canaveral. That's probably a lot harder in 1958 because I don't think NASA was launching stuff there yet. Uh, speak French. I don't know if I speak. Unless it's like parlez-vous, parlez. Isn't that, do you speak French? Or maybe this is love. Pole? Oh yeah, yeah. Problem. Senator Watkins, hometown. Orem, is this a Utah senator? And senators in 1950s, do not know. Dilemma. This is D train. I just spelled leech like the animal, not like <laughs> the filtering one. Okay. Ethel Merman roll. Do not know. Uh, animal traditionally mistaken for a mermaid. Is that a manatee? Chest of Biblical Days Ark? Where the painted desert is. I don't know. Famed economist Keynes? Kind of Jack. English Sand Hill? Nope. A sense. Yes? Very poor. What's this? A flimsy texture. Arnie? Could that be? No. Annie? Did she do Annie? 
Natty, I think, is very poor, but no. It's not going to be SLAA. Alright, let's see this corner. Sound. Noise. Blank enough. Sure enough. Persian mystic? Is that like a... Sufi? No. Sufti? Indians. Is kettle a utensil? Uh, estate would be the subject of a will. Saturday, I guess, is an abbreviation on a calendar. Let go is release. I guess utes, yeah. Sense, felt. So I think I've got, well, let's see if I can get the southeast here. Very poor. Where the Painted Desert is. Oh, Arizona, that's right. Sleazy? Is that what sleazy also means? Kind of Jack? Oh, needy. Dean? English Sandhill? Nope. Don't know that. I want to say, like, Dulcinea, because I think that's, like, sweet, right? Dul Dulce? What is a racing boat? S I think a skull is something? Letter of the alphabet. Oh, shell. Yeah, yeah. Oh, H. That's right. Spelled out. Okay. What do we think here? Um, again, this is a Basel. Yeah, I thought it was EL. I think that's a city, at least in Europe somewhere. But a bag wig? I mean, popular in the 18th century. Who knows? Okay, adventure. And sta stone paving block. Jest. And set with two T's. Yeah, okay, you can't see this congratulation, but that was all correct. That is gotta be, that's got to be the record for me for solving a 50s, you know, Margaret Farrar era New York Times puzzle. Maybe Mondays are a little bit easier. Um, or maybe by, the 19, my, by 1958 they started doing that, because, I mean, yeah, set with two Ts, no idea. Adventure, jest, nope. I mean, a lot of guesses here. Um, what else was well, completely a guess? Bean? Den, den? Is that... Yeah. A vale, usually the deep, narrow, wooded valley of a small river. Yeah. Um, an Eaton Jack? I mean, that's usually clued as, a, as the school these days, but... Wait a sec. Um, okay, there's an Eaton jacket. I wonder if this is a typo? Again, uh, this whole project was kind of taken from newspapers, and some people had to type these things up. Maybe I'll take a look at this, and maybe there's a correction that needs to be done. Um, Okay. Otherwise, yeah, there's nothing too difficult. And some of these long ones, again, uh, crosswords back at this time don't seem to be themed, but what would fall as themes, engineers, Canaveral, actually were pretty straightforward. Uh, okay, Dulcinea, no, I, that was all crosses and a lucky guess, and then Glossier, okay. All right, um, yeah, uh, I've, I finally built a playlist if you're just interested in these old New York Times puzzles. I think I'm on number five right now. Check those out. Um, the rest of my videos are me solving more recent, mostly indie crosswords that are recommended by various outlets. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, either subscribe or check out some of those other videos. Thank you for watching.